Hey, Dr. Josh Ax here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'll be going over the top five herbs, supplements, and essential oils to help you naturally thicken your hair fast. And I'm telling you, I've worked with thousands of patients over the years, and these solutions work fast. Actually, in just a couple weeks, if you start with this, you'll notice your hair naturally getting thicker. And the number one herbal remedy here to start with is aloe vera uh, gel or juice. Now, aloe vera juice is something you could pick up at any natural health food store. You could order it online, but aloe vera contains really unique polysaccharides which help naturally strengthen and thicken the hair and if you drink just one cup a day of aloe vera juice it will help naturally thicken your hair and I want to mention this about aloe vera juice and gel as well number one you want to drink it internally a cup a day but along with that you also can buy aloe vera gel and make your own at-home shampoo and I'll share that easy recipe with you here in just a little bit so again number one thing here aloe vera juice you can drink it uh, there and by the way it's also great for your digestive system can be beneficial for hormones so again pick this up at your local health food store now one of my other favorite products is collagen protein or a boat or a protein powder that comes from bone broth both of those are very high in collagen now your skin and hair and nails are actually made up of type 1 and 3 collagen so consuming a collagen protein especially that comes from grass-fed cows or free-range chickens is especially beneficial but again what you want to do is about one to two scoops a day of a collagen powder or collagen protein remember most of us today we get almost no collagen in our diet in fact if you're not drinking bone broth every day you're not getting collagen in your diet you know collagen's like the glue that holds your bones uh, your your body together and you know collagen has so many benefits and so does bone broth so again i do a, a protein powder that comes from bone broth every day a collagen powder it's what i prescribe and recommend my patients use but collagen is very high in proline hydroxyproline and glycine and these amino acids again you're not getting in your diet if you're not consuming bone broth or consuming a collagen protein and of all the things here I've noticed the biggest difference in people thickening their hair when they consume collagen. In fact, my own sister sent me an email after she started using collagen powder and she said, my hairdresser asked me what I was doing because she said she'd never seen my uh, hair get so, uh, it, she'd never seen it so thick before. So just know, even in just a couple weeks, you start using aloe vera, you start using collagen powder, you're gonna notice a difference in the overall thickness of your hair. Now the next supplement here, product, you, you probably don't know what this is. This is actually B complex slash biotin. Now biotin is a type of B vitamin that's been shown to naturally help strengthen your nails, help you also help you have healthier skin, but number one, help naturally thicken your hair. So doing a B complex vitamin or, which does contain biotin, or a standalone biotin supplement is great as well. One to two caps daily, what's ever prescribed on the supplement is ideal. You know, B vitamins are also critical for your energy levels. They're critical for your focus. They're important for hormones. So if you're a person that not only do you have thin hair, but you notice your energy levels are a little bit low, that could be a warning sign that you have a B vitamin deficiency and specifically biotin possibly along with B12 as well. But again, taking biotin has been shown in medical studies to naturally thicken your hair and stop hair loss. The next thing here, this is one of the most powerful in the world today. It's rosemary essential oil. Now, essential oils have been used thousands of years for their many health benefits, but rosemary oil contains a compound called rosemaric acid, which has been shown to naturally thicken the hair. Now, here's how you're gonna use rosemary oil. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take about five drops and you're gonna mix it with a little bit of aloe vera gel or with maybe some uh, warm uh, olive oil, okay? You can do either or, but you're gonna do about, again, about a teaspoon of, uh, aloe, of, uh, of warm olive oil, mix about five drops, uh, five to 10 drops of rosemary oil, and then you're gonna massage it into your scalp for about a minute. You're gonna leave it on there for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then you'll go, you know, you'll do this before you go take a shower, okay? But again, massaging rosemary oil into your scalp and hair naturally thickens your hair as well. Again, rosemary oil, and here's another thing about rosemary oil. It also helps with female and male baldness. So if somebody is actually not only thinning their hair, but they're losing their hair, 
it actually blocks a hormone called DHT that stands for dihydroxytestosterone, which is the hormone that causes male pattern baldness or for women to lose their hair or to have hair thinning. Rosemary oil of all of these compounds and all the things on the planet, it's the most powerful at blocking DHT, actually stopping hair loss in its tracks. So again, this essential oil, the most powerful for naturally thickening the hair. And there's other essential oils that are beneficial uh, for hair loss. Cedarwood is great. Sage oil is also fantastic. And last but not least, omega-3 fatty acids. Now, whether you're doing flax oil or fish oil or cod liver oil, they're all great, but you need to be getting the omega-3s, EPA, DHA, and ALA in your diet on a daily basis, about 1,000 to 3,000 milligrams a day. You can do this in capsule form. You can do a tablespoon a day or, hey, consume wild-caught salmon or different types of fish are great as well. But again, these things are sort of addressing all these things. We've got a healthy type of fatty acid. We've got healthy proteins here as well. We've got polysaccharides, which are in the carbohydrate family, all of these different nutrients, vitamins, minerals, essential oils. I'm telling you right now, if you use these five ingredients in combination, the difference you will see in your hair in just two weeks will be absolutely uh, will be dramatic in what you're actually seeing there as well. And I wanna give you a few last tips here as well on things that can actually help naturally thicken your hair. Number one, you gotta know what is at the root cause of your hair thinning. And I just wanna show you this, just a few things to consider. Physical and emotional stress can cause thinning hair. If you've got a lot of emotional stress, it can actually cause your hair to thin. And so listen, look at what you're doing on a daily basis. What's causing you stress? Start doing things that you really love and enjoy to do. Maybe it's a walk in nature, or lunch with a best friend. You gotta reduce those stress levels, okay? Both physical and emotional stress. Hormone imbalances. A lot of this comes down to diet. Here's, here's a key in diet. If you consume too many carbohydrates, sugars, and grains, it'll cause inflammation, increasing that dihydroxytestosterone, which will cause your hair to thin, and even over time, cause you to lose your hair. Diet-wise, here's what you need to be eating. You need to be doing lots of vegetables and herbs, so big salad, chicken bone broth soup, things like that. You need to be doing lots of healthy fats, an avocado a day, um, coconut oil, flax seeds, so lots of healthy fats, and then wild organic protein sources like grass-fed beef and wild-caught salmon. All of those things can help. Also, if you have a thyroid condition, it can also contribute to hair loss. So in that case, again, diet-wise, follow the same diet. Bone broth, the greatest superfood for really helping the thyroid and gut health overall as well. So again, follow that anti-inflammatory diet I talked about. Toxic exposures, really taking care of those vitamin and mineral, mineral deficiencies. Typically, biotin and B vitamins are the biggest ones, along with selenium and iron. And again, of course, there's allergies, her heredity, but these are the biggest things that can actually cause your hair to thin there as well. But again, diet-wise, you wanna follow an anti-inflammatory diet. You wanna reduce stress levels. And remember, replace a lot of the sugar and excess carbs with healthy fats on a daily basis. You do that, take these five supplements on a regular basis using these, you're gonna notice your hair is gonna get thicker, it's gonna have more volume, it's gonna be shinier, and not only are you gonna notice the difference in your hair, you're gonna notice a big difference in your skin and your nails as well, and just overall how you feel and your energy levels on a daily basis. And by the way, if you've enjoyed this live training on how to naturally thicken your hair, make sure you subscribe here to this YouTube channel. You know, I've got a lot more videos coming out on how to increase the health of your hair, your skin and nails, your entire body using things like essential oils and natural herbs and extracts. And if you wanna learn more as well, uh, and maybe you have another issue going on. Maybe it's hypothyroidism or PCOS or low testosterone. Just Google search my name or search here on YouTube, Dr. Axe Hypothyroidism. And I've got a lot more videos and articles you can check out on YouTube and Google online as well. Hey, thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.